we've all at one point in time used saturation or vibrance whether it was editing a picture on our phone or using it in softwares like photoshop or even video editors but the question is do you know the difference in this video we're going to look at the difference between saturation and vibrance especially when you're using it in photoshop and this is coming up Hi everybody innocent here welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing to make this video more practical i'm going to use this picture on my desktop that i got from unsplash you can download that link will be in the description and without any further ado let's look at the difference all right so let's start with saturation saturation basically refers to the intensity or the purity of a color an image is said to be saturated when it is vivid it is rich it is vibrant and it is popping either of these things that you want to use so if you have an image or a design that all the colors or the colors are very popping the colors are very rich the colors are very vivid it is said to be saturated on the other hand when the colors of an image or a design is less vibrant it is not really giving that popping vibes it is said to be desaturated the saturation adjustment or the slider in most softwares like photoshop is used to increase or decrease the intensity of all colors in an image equally so the first point that you note is that saturation increases the intensity of all colors in an image equally so in essence when you increase saturation all colors becomes more vibrant and when you decrease the saturation all colors becomes more muted or it becomes grayscale or in simple terms black and white now let's illustrate this in photoshop all right so here in photoshop if you want to access the saturation slider there are two ways but let's use the simple one you go to image and then adjustment and then you can choose your hue and saturation for this slider you're going to see the saturation button over here and i want you to pay very close attention to what will be happening to this image as we increase the saturation so we are going to try to intensify the colors in this image by opening up the saturation so when you slide it to the very right side you realize that the intensity of the colors will be popping and you realize right here from the definition that it is opening or increasing every single color in this image so as we increase it the colors in all aspects of this image and one negative thing about saturation is the more you increase it the more it is that you are going to break or destroy the image because the more you increase your saturation it is going to make the image look more unreal or unnatural on the other hand if you drag it to the very left side over here see this side you realize that it decreases all the colors in the image and it eventually turns to a grayscale so you can actually use saturation to increase or intensify your colors but you don't need to actually make it too much else it is going to destroy your image remember that it doesn't take that much to break an image so the key takeaway for saturation over here is that saturation will increase or add colors to your existing colors equally all of them it excludes none if it is red it adds more color to the red greens it adds more color to the greens and any other color that it found in your image it is going to increase the intensity for you now vibrance vibrance also intensifies colors it increases the richness the vividness in an image or a design but unlike saturation vibrance is more intelligent it uses selective adjustment and it increases the intensity of colors that are not already vibrant or that are not already popping so for instance if you have red and blue in the same color and then the blue is more muted or less saturated when you apply vibrance it's not going to open or pop up the two colors it is going to pop up the color that is less saturated so that it can match with the color that is already popping so vibrant is designed to avoid oversaturation an image and vibrance can be used to enhance the colors in an image without making them look unnaturally intense let's look at vibrance in photoshop to apply vibrance to an image in photoshop you go to image and then adjustment and vibrance and even here saturation still comes over here it is really stressing vibrance now we're going to do the same thing for what we did for saturation for vibrance you realize that as we increase the vibrance over here it is going to intensify the colors but this time around it is not going to do it as saturation did you realize that this part of the image is already popping so it doesn't really need to add a lot of colors to it so what it's going to do is that it is going to add colors to this part this part and this part that are less saturated or a bit muted so if you increase your vibrance over here you'd realize that it adds color to this part it adds color to this part 
slightly to this part so that it brightens and then it doesn't over saturate it even if you put it to 100 you realize that it is still looking a bit okay as compared to putting saturation at 100 but this is overly saturated so we can still decrease it slightly like that so that it looks more real more natural and not oversaturated. now the question you ask yourself is which should i use vibrance or saturation and the answer to that is it depends on the image that you are working on some images are very measured when it comes to colors so with that you can use your saturation to boost the colors all of them equally but if you get an image that is a bit well okay but you just need to increase some of the colors in the image then you go for vibrance both of them are very important and it works in unique ways so depending on the image that you're having you may decide to opt for one of these now you realize that when you go to image adjustment and then you add say saturation to this particular image it affects the image directly so later on if you want to make adjustment to this is going to be difficult and that is why you need to use the layer adjustment tool on your right side over here you go to the layer adjustment tool and then you can choose say the hue and saturation when you increase your saturation to this point so you have it on another layer if you turn that one off you're going to have your original image and if you turn it back on you are going to have this image in the same way you can add vibrance as well so you set your vibrance you can turn your saturation off and then you increase your vibrance a little as well and then you are going to have something like this so you can see this vibrance is 76 percent this saturation is 23 percent and it almost looks the same so in a nutshell if you want to boost the overall intensity of your image or your design then you can use saturation on the other hand if you want to make selective adjustment to just some colors in your image or your design then you may want to opt for vibrance all this explanation helps you and you understand the difference between saturation and vibrance especially if you are using photoshop thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video if this was helpful a subscribe to the channel will be very much vibrant thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye